Hey there, Odooers. Today we're going to learn how to use gamification to set sales objectives, to challenge and reward salespeople for their efforts. Gamification is a fun, creative method used to motivate and encourage salespeople to reach certain goals in new, innovative ways. So here at Stealthywood, our salespeople are always closing deals, but there's a different level of motivation that they feel when they have certain goals in place that they can strive for. That's why we use Odoo's gamification module to set unique sales-related goals and challenges. Gamification not only entices our salespeople to sell more and reach goals, it's also a great way for managers to quickly evaluate performance and follow up on the progress of specific sales teams or salespeople. And that's pretty good, right? Now, the most common performance indicators used to evaluate our salespeople are volume, like the number of new leads, sales orders, and that type of thing like customers, as well as amount, which represents the total dollar amount of products sold or invoices paid. And finally, progression, which represents the time it takes to qualify a lead or close a deal, measured over the course of days, weeks, months, years. We use a lot of time. So, enough chit chat, let's jump right in. So, let's kick things off on our main Odoo dashboard. Now, before we do anything, we need to make sure that we have the gamification module installed. Now, to do that, we're going to go into the Apps app, click away from that default filter, and type in gamification. With our amazing spelling, there it is. Now you'll notice I already installed it, but if you still need to take care of that, now's the time to do it. It's also worth noting that in order to configure gamification, you're going to need to be in developer mode, which we are in already thanks to that little bug that we have right there in the top header. So be sure to activate that before moving forward as well. Now feel free to check out the quick documentation on how to do that if you're not familiar with developer mode already. You're going to find a link to that in the description below. Okay, after all of that, you're going to want to hop back over to your main dashboard over here and open up settings. Now you see up here in the top header where it says gamification tools, that's going to be our bread and butter today. Now I want to talk about configuring some and defining some goals for our sales teams. Now to do that, we're actually going to want to click on gamification tools and go into goal definitions. Look at that. We have a big old list right there. Odoo has configured for us all of these by default. You're going to see the goal definition name on the left side and the computation mode on the right side. Now, when a goal is computed based on the number of records that we have right there, what does that mean? Well, it basically means that it's measuring volume. When it's based on some, like we see on the other ones, it measures monetary amounts or progression. But I think it's better if we see what that actually means. So let's customize one of these goals to fit our needs. So how about we click on total paid sales orders over here? It's a bit of a peanut butter word, total paid sales orders. Let's make a quick adjustment. At the moment, you'll notice that this goal is measured by the number or volume of records right there. But let's say that I want to measure the dollar amount of sales orders instead. That way I can set my team's goals as a monetary value, like $20,000 a month, for example. Now to do that, all I actually have to do is again, go into sum for this one and hit save. We're already done. As you can see, there are actually a ton of customization options that I can modify to optimize this specific goal definition but I'm going to leave everything as is for the time being, just to keep it a little bit simple. Now, I think it's time for us to set up a challenge for our salespeople using this definition, which we can do so by going up again to gamification tools, challenges. I'm also a challenger in League of Legends. It's true. Now here, you're going to see an overview of all of the challenges we currently have running for our salespeople, which we can also search through, group, and do things in a variety of ways. Now from here, we're going to create the new one by selecting the word new in the top left. And I think we need a good name for this. How about monthly paid SOs? I know I'm very creative. Now let's say I want to create a challenge for one specific person on a sales team, Steve. Now to do that, I'm going to first delete these default filters that we have right here by selecting the trash can. We're actually not going to target Steve. He's not even a sales guy. Now we're going to select new rule over here. And in this first field, I think it's, I think it's going to be necessary that we select sales team members. Now for the second field, we're going to select the word contains and mark. And would you look at that? Once that I did that, the salesperson I want to sign this challenge to is picked. Now when I click away, you'll notice that we have one record here. And when I click it, Mark was the only one popping up right there and targeted. So it's pretty straightforward. But what if I want to target this challenge to a specific sales team? Well, no problem. In that case, we're going to go in here and pick sales teams, plural, and then the word contains, and then the sales team that you're thinking about. In our case, I'm thinking the US sales team. Then when I select two records, look at that, my SF team right there and perfect. As you can see, those two records now are the people on the sales team. Okay, 
now let's specify how and when this challenge occurs. So in the periodicity field, we're going to pick monthly. Then we got to have a start date. First of the month ends last of the month because it's monthly. It's perfect. And since we want to see how the salespeople on this team perform individually, we're actually going to keep this display mode over here onto individual goals. Now let's actually take a look at the goals tab on that. Now you'll notice here, you can add a line for a goal definition and we're actually gonna do that. So the very first thing we wanna do is select the one that we were talking about. In our case, what did I say it was? Total paid sales orders, which was the one that I wanted. And we customized that moments ago. So now we also need to target. What did I say? $20,000, count your zeros and we're good to go right there. It should be noted that you can add as many goals as you want to a challenge, but I don't wanna be mean. We're gonna keep this nice and simple. Once that we're done, let's hop over here to the rewards tab. Now, when we actually click right here where it says for every succeeding user, we're shown a full list of all of the badges that we currently have configured for our challenges. Now these badges can be created and customized on the badges page under gamification tools. So how about I show you guys what they actually look like over there. So here we are in the badges underneath gamification tools and badges. Here you'll find a list of all of them. We could also click on new over there to create a brand new one, but for now we're actually gonna click on the good job badge so I can show you some stuff. Now the very first thing that we have is the badge title, as well as the optional badge icon and a handful of other super useful information that we can modify to customize the badge to fit our needs. And if we click on this grant this badge button up at the top, we can grant this badge to a specific person right away if necessary, or if you just wanna reward someone. Once a badge has been granted, it's gonna publicly be shown on their Odoo profile. So feel free to get as creative as possible with these things. But I think it's time for us to return back to our challenge. So here we are back on the challenge. Now inside of the for every succeeding user field, we can finally assign a badge and we're gonna reward them with that good job one that we were just talking about. And we're gonna click away. Great, now you'll notice that we also have the option to reward the first user to accomplish this goal with a specific badge too. But I don't wanna do that, so we're gonna actually leave that field blank. And then moving forward, since we want this badge to be sent out immediately, we're gonna keep the box right there, reward as soon as every goal is reached, checked off by default. Now it's time for us to head over to the advanced options tab to talk about a few of these big options over there. Now beneath the subscription section that we have inside of here, we have the option to suggest to users. We can suggest this challenge to specific salespeople. Inside of the notification messages, we have a report frequency. And inside of here, I want my challenge members to see where they stand every week of this monthly challenge. So I'm gonna actually change this report frequency to weekly. And once that I did that, you'll notice a couple more fields appear. In the report template field, a default gamification challenge report template is selected, which we can customize by selecting on the internal link over there. I'm not gonna do that for right now. I'm gonna leave it as is. And then as well, once we complete all the desired configurations, we can begin a challenge by going up here to the top and selecting start challenge. Just like that, the challenge has officially begun. Not too shabby, right? And there you have it, folks. That's how easy it is to use the gamification module in Odoo to encourage sales teams to participate in fun sales-related challenges. It's all for now, but stay tuned for even more CRM knowledge. Go grab a snack, Odooers. I love you.